governor told the I team he needs about 400 more ventilators. Today he announced we are getting some help from California. California is loaning us 50 of them throughout May 1st, which should help us get through that peak. Well, Easter Sunday is less than a week away, and church services are going to look a little bit different this year. 8 News Now reporter Kate Houston spoke to local pastors on how they're moving forward with their services. Easter Sunday is one of the biggest church services of the year, and this year churches are forced to get creative with how they can safely give their message to worshipers. Joseph Guy is the lead pastor at Open Arms Community Church. He's still planning to hold an in-person service this weekend for roughly 30 people. Nobody's going to be allowed into the sanctuary without their temperatures being taken. Um, they're not going to be able to come in without gloves on. They're not going to be able to come in without utilizing sanitation stations. He says chairs will be six feet apart and donations will be primarily taken through the church's website. Today I asked Metro Police how they'll enforce the ban on gatherings of 10 or more people when it comes to church services. They told me they're seeking guidance from the governor's and attorney general's offices. Joseph tells me that there will also be a drive-in option in the parking lot outside. We're not asking people to do anything different than they're already doing. We all go to Walmart, Smith's, Albertsons, you know, and we're taking even more precautions than those stores are. Pastor Godwin Izeke of Faith Life Family Church is offering a drive-in as well. Each car will be 10 feet apart and communion will be offered in a pre-sealed container. Right now we've adapted and we're gathering in our homes as families and watching online, you know, um, but for Easter, you know, I'm convinced as a pastor that we should come together. Even though we may not be able to touch one another, but we can be within eyesight of each other and we can celebrate in one place together. Kate Houston, 8 News Now. So, as you can imagine, a lot of the churches here across the valley are going to be offering their Easter Sunday service virtually this year. Uh, churches like the Crossing and Calvary Chapel are streaming their services on their website. They're streaming it through their apps or social media. We have more on what churches are going to be offering on our website at 8newsnow.com.